bringing you the commentaries here from Hereford's week of races for the jumps and we've got a two mile four furlong maiden here for five year old horses and older and they're straight off and running and it's Aconitum Half that has that early lead from Shifar, Ted, Zepnavel, we've got McLaren in there um, just behind those bare necessities, Beauty Queen, Trojan Hysteria and Goodnight Nables complete the lineup. Forgive me if I don't know which horse belongs to which trainer as it went straight into the race without going through the race card. But it's McLaren that has that early lead from a Conatum half as they come towards the first hurdle. All jump that quite nicely. It's McLaren in the lead as they pass some of those lovely trees and houses in the background. Wonderful setting here at Hereford Racecourse. We've got McLaren in the early lead in those Cowdo Star type colours. Beautiful jump there from Bare Necessities from my stable and that just allowed it to just spring past three horses there and that's it. that includes Beauty Queen, Goodnight Naples and Aconitum Half. Towards the back of the field we've got She's Far Ted, Trojan Hysteria and the back marker currently is in Zepnavel as they start turning right handed here and approach the next flight of hurdles. It's McLaren still in the lead and just ticking along nicely behind those. We've got Goodnight Naples as they come towards that next flight. Goodnight Naples actually almost went there. Didn't get that flight of hurdles right at all. Um, so it'll do well to win the race after making a mistake like that. But the jockey's just trying to steady it in there. Lost a couple of places, but everything looks okay. It's got a good jump there as we go into that flight of hurdles. Another one from Bear Necessity. So it's the two black horses that are in the lead as we've got 13 furlongs are approximately left to go and it's still McLaren in the lead with a good few lengths lead to that other black horse bare necessities good jumping so far from that one she's far Ted now moves into third place and a Conatum half is just ticking along nicely there in the all green colors as they come to that next flight of hurdles good jump from McLaren another good one from bare necessities she's far Ted on the outside of that one on the inside of it a Conatum half it's Zep Novell's no longer the back marker that one's moved up to take fifth place just ahead of Goodnight Naples who does look to be going quite nicely after that earlier mistake and towards the back of the field we've got Beauty Queen there in the red silks with the yellow hat and the back marker in the blue white and orange hat is Trojan Hysteria so it's McLaren still in the lead there and She's Far Ted has now moved up to be second with Aconitum Half Bear Necessities has been relegated back in fourth but they're all travelling nicely enough as we go towards the final nine furlongs McLaren now it's lead shortening just a little bit there as She's Far Ted and Aconitum Half look to try and close the gap Bear Necessities with another slick jump there helps that one take another couple of lengths out of some of the others it's travelling next to but McLaren jumping lovely from the front and the jumped seven flights so far and bar the odd mistake and uh, that one bad mistake from Goodnight Naples all of them have looked like pretty good hurdlers so far so it's McLaren still in that lead with seven furlongs left to go they're just swinging quite tight right-handed bend there but they all seem to be coping with it well enough so McLaren in the lead we've got four that you could throw a blanket over she's far Ted Aconitum half Zep Novell on the outside bare necessities the black horse Zep Novell with a lovely fast jump there moving forward and there's starting to be a bit of a gap opening up between She's Far Ted and Beauty Queen and then Trojan Hysteria and Goodnight Naples is the back marker and that uh, mistake has clearly uh, taken a lot out of that particular horse unless it's going to come um, flying towards the end of the race but as we go into the last five furlongs it's McLaren in the lead, Zap Novell, Aconitum Half, Bare Necessities, She's Far Ted and Beauty Queen is trying to hang on to their coattails and stay in this race um, but McLaren is going to now try and stretch them out and really put the pressure on and it seems to be working as it kind of opens up a bit of a bigger lead there um, into second place a Conatum half she's far Ted but bare necessities probably put a better jump in than both of those and Zap Novell looks to be a little touch out pace but as we go towards the final two and a half furlongs it's still McLaren in the lead as they come to that next flight of hurdles another good jump from bare necessities who's trying to close the gap a Conatum half and Zap Novell also putting good jumps in there trying to close McLaren still game in front still trying to hold off all challenges a furlong and a half left to go bare necessities looks a real big threat here and now takes things up on the outside it's bare necessities in the lead moves on from McLaren Zep Novell trying to go with it in third last flight of hurdles good jump from bare necessities but a better jump from Zep Novell and tried to go alongside it but bare necessities his game pulls away again and bare necessities wins it bare necessities wins it for Ryan Tamasevi that's my first winner that I've called a commentary on in this first week of the starters order season and what a slick round of jumping from bare necessities I thought she was good She's good on the flats, she's better over the hurdles and here she's come and proved herself over hurdles. 
Bare Necessities wins it. Zepp Novell in second. McLaren in third for Paul Rhodes. Econitum half in fourth for James Shea. And She's Farted in fifth for Pontypool Racing.